Welcome to this lesson on installing and configuring TWS for use with the Trader Workstation API. In order to use the TWS API, clients must download and install the Trader Workstation or IB Gateway. All interactive brokers resources are linked in our documentation. If a user visits our IBKR campus documentation, navigate to the TWS API directory. On this page, we will see a designated section for Download TWS or IB Gateway. Clicking the affiliated links will bring you to the affiliated downloads page. On the downloads page for Trader Workstation, you'll notice that there are online versions which update automatically with new releases as well as offline versions at the bottom which will never update. When you go to the site, the server will automatically detect the operating system of your browser and provide the corresponding download automatically. However, all versions of TWS are available for use with Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. The alternative to using Trader Workstation for API users is a program called IB Gateway. From an API perspective, IB Gateway is nearly identical to Trader Workstation. Any application that connects to and uses the API with TWS can also use IB Gateway. Please be aware that in this tutorial series, we will be working with and referencing Trader Workstation. However, note that the two are synonymous and the whole series can be followed using either application. The major difference of IB Gateway is that it is entirely geared towards API functionality and does not provide access to account information via GUI in the same way as Trader Workstation does. Because of this, it is a smaller application that requires fewer resources to maintain. Equivalent versions of TWS and IB Gateway are always released together. For instance, if the current TWS latest version is 10.19.1c, then the current IB Gateway latest build is also 10.19.1c. After selecting your download option, Interactive Brokers will display exact platform-specific instructions for the installation process. For all platforms, we will assume the download will appear in our respective downloads folder. For Windows, we should see an .exe file, while Mac OS will be provided with a .dmg. Clicking these executables should launch an identical install wizard. In our case, we can simply follow our default values and click Next throughout the program. This will install the Trader Workstation to the directory C colon JTS. TWS will be installed locally and a new icon will be created on the desktop. The process to install the Trader Workstation on Linux is only slightly different compared to the Windows and Mac OS counterparts. For Linux distributions, after downloading the software, users will need to navigate to the corresponding downloads directory in their terminal to find the program installer. Then we can call chmod u plus x on the sh file to allow the user to execute it. After updating the file's permissions, we can call sudo dot slash tws dash stable dash standalone dash linux dot sh to run the executable and display an identical install wizard. Once again, we will follow the default install directory. In my case, it should be installed under my local user directory. Assuming I do not have a corresponding GUI for launching my applications, I can manually run the Trader Workstation by calling the launcher located within my current directory's JTS slash 1019 slash TWS folder. Users may find a different version number aside from 1019 in their installation. Launching the Trader Workstation will bring up the TWS login screen, which has inputs for a username and password. There is also an option where you can select to log in to either your live or paper account. Paper accounts are compatible to use with the Trader Workstation API, and it is recommended to test all programs in a paper environment before moving to production trading. If you do not have an IB account, it's possible to log in to a demo account by clicking the Try the Demo and using an email address instead. 
To receive live or historical data from the API, it is necessary to first have live data permissions enabled in Trader Workstation. For most instrument types, this requires first having a live and funded account with active market data subscriptions. After you have fully logged into Trader Workstation and it has loaded completely for the first time, there is a setting which must be enabled to allow the API connection and several others which some users decide to configure differently depending on their applications. The API setting can be configured in the Global Configurations page. For Trader Workstation, select the cogwheel in the top right corner. IB Gateway users should see an option for Configure and Settings to launch the same window. After entering the global configuration, users can navigate to API then Settings on the left. The necessary setting to enable the socket client connections for Python is the first checkbox labeled Enable ActiveX and Socket Clients. The other settings which affect the initial connection are the setting Read Only Connection, which is enabled by default and will block all API orders. It must be unchecked to allow any orders from the API. Socket Port By default, TWS uses socket port 7496 for live sessions, 7497 for paper sessions. Meanwhile, IB Gateway uses 4001 for live sessions and 4002 for paper sessions. However, please keep in mind these are just default values and can be modified as desired. The socket port in TWS must be configured to match the socket port used in the API client's connect function. Some additional settings that are necessary for escalating issues with customer support involve API logging. To enable logging of API messages for troubleshooting specific API issues, there are three notable settings. Create API message log, which is used to enable the API log file to record all API messages. Include market data in API log file. Will include all market data returned by the requests in the log. Lastly, logging level, which is a drop down menu to adjust the information present in the logs. If this is set to the highest level of called detail, the API logs will document all API traffic to and from the Trader Workstation. After enabling these settings, users can click Apply, then OK to confirm and save these changes. That concludes our lesson on downloading, installing, and configuring the Trader Workstation for use with the TWS API. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you join us for more TWS API Python lessons.